hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Kingdom of Ireland as we continue with the High King Sigdar Makfothad. Again, absolute guess, probably butchered it, but we're gonna go with it. I hope you're all doing well and enjoying the Ireland campaign. If you are, then please do consider leaving a like as it would be very much appreciated. Subscribe to help support the channel grow as well as we reach that 400 subscriber milestone. And thank you all very much for the continued support. It's been really lovely to see. So we have picked on um, the English a little bit. We've certainly picked on Scotland a great deal. Um, hold on a minute. My son and heir is going to marry this young lady who is... Okay, so it's providing us an alliance. She doesn't seem particularly great, but I guess we'll go with it. There is a little bit of a peasant rabble on the horizon, but that's not too bad. What is our inheritance situation? It is going to be a bit of a split, because he's going to get Munster. What else is he getting? You are Dubless. Dubless gets Thomond. And that's about it by the looks of it. So, might want to disinherit one child. Or how are we doing on heraldry? Reckons eight years. She's on patronage. That will take us to. Uh, what? 63? So it's potential. We'll see what happens. Uh, yes, we'll definitely go in and attend your feast. Because why not? So we own quite a bit of Scotland now. And we should probably try and do battle with... You, if you're somewhat weaker. Ooh, six prisoners to be ransomed. Okay. Apparently we own a lot of the Scottish family. Lots of Scots royal families here. I also own too many duchies, which... I'm going to keep Lothian because my heir's going to get that. Where is this going to be? Over there, that's fine. Just raise local and go and kill. I can actually usurp the Kingdom of Scotland. Uh, how much would that cost me to usurp and then destroy it? Only 400 to usurp, but 500 gold. So it would be quite a bit of gold. So I'm not so sure we would want to do that. Uh, low county control up in the north, in Athol. It's actually a fairly good town. I, I want to concentrate on Thomond though. Can we upgrade this? We need the hoardings innovation, so we can't even do that. Hmm. Okay. Trouble is, you are intelligent. You're okay, but you're not particularly marrying anyone half decent. This guy's quick. Oh, sorry, I just bashed the mic there. So I can get a claim on Inri. Queen Thora, she could generate me quite a bit of gold. In fact, all of these kids could give me quite a bit of gold. How's England doing? They're up to 3k now. He actually doesn't have a claim on me, so that's good. Oh, 
Why is our troop count going lower? Is someone not uh, not liking us? Right, she doesn't like us particularly well. That is a bit annoying. Pick up a new perk. That's going to be helpful for the gold. If nothing else, what are you going down? Authority focus. So you are martial focused. Oh crap, sorry, get rid of the troops. You've got about 5,000 troops. Now we can pick up this, which would be two counties. I am slightly tempted to just give ourselves the option of usurping. Right, what the hell happened to your previous spouse? She died in childbirth, that's no use. 30... Amazonian, that's pretty good. You're intelligent, you're a genius, but you're just too old. She's also intelligent, but she's not insular. To be fair, none of them are insular. Let's get you her, but we will need to convert her. So I need to demand your conversion, please. Because that would not look good on us. Uh, ooh, Catholicism is pretty rife in Scotland. Succession is just going to be a big old problem for us. What would happen... Okay, what, what have we actually got? What is our succession rule? So it's purely divided equally between my children. But presumably male. All right, I think this guy's kind of crap, so we disinherit him. Then that means you are my heir. Ransom 28 gold for the queen, absolutely not. So he's now my heir. You're in line to inherit nothing. You're in line to inherit quite a bit. And do I just in disinherit my other child so it just becomes you? Or disinherit you? I don't know. I mean, we've still got a little bit of time. Well, feasibly we've got a little bit of time. Because it doesn't look like our health is declining too much. I do want to pick this up, so I do want to keep a good amount of prestige. And it does also get rid of some renown, which is a hindrance to us. Who are you being tutored by, your mum? And who are you being tutored by? The priest. So you're probably going to turn out less well. I think we wait and see how he turns out before we make a decision. Just in case. And you're currently facing a war against one of your countesses, Inverness.
So he's getting a good education because of her tutelage, which is good. Oh god, Catholicism is really spread. Um, yeah, we need to put a stop to that. I don't quite know how we're going to do that, but there we are. Are there any special buildings in Dublin that can be built? No. Dublin gets nothing. That's unfortunate. Carver's Guilds, Peat Quarries, and a small harbour. Meanwhile, we've got shipwrights, salt wells, and that's all the finance boosted places we can do. We've got six years before this, so succession is in my mind right now. It is a concern. Quite a big concern. Um, you have now come of age and you're rather unimpressive. Let's hope she'll get swayed. You've got some claims there, but I can't afford to go to war with you. Because there is too much going on. Priest is doing a pretty awful job, as per usual. Do I want to usurp Scotland? It's going to give me 400 prestige. And then it is going to force us, basically, to sort out our own succession. Because it will go to one of my two kids. Well, it will go to this kid, so he'll be king of Scotland. Which I can't have. I can't have two sons becoming kings. Because they'll be of the same rank and won't go underneath one another. So it will cause me some problems. Bloody hell, you're enormous, dude. What's going on in the world? Is Mongolia risen up yet? Not really. Holy Roman Empire is looking uh, quite weak. Lombardy's doing quite well. Burgundy's quite big. Who are they getting... Uh, oh, they're having a liberty wall, though. Half of them want to split off. And being supported by Mercia, who is a good ally to have. So, they might have some troubles there. Is your war over yet? It is, so I can actually usurp this. I'm going to usurp it, just to pick up the piety. Not the piety, the prestige, rather. You won't become a vassal, but I effectively get... De jour rule over all of you counties now. Um, so that's the first thing. It does mean that now these guys are going to cost less. So that was possibly a little bit too soon, but it's okay. So he's going to become, yeah, Kingdom of Alba. Ooh, so she's getting bits and pieces now. What's she heir to? Duchy of Annalt. Where's that? Oh, so she's getting my wife's titles. My first wife's titles. Alright, well that's fine. I just need to decide which of the sons we are going to to move ahead with. As long as his health is alright, then we should be fine. Uh, I think we're due to have a feast, aren't we? So let's go ahead and do that. Lose some of our stress levels. So he's still getting good education. I think I probably need to change who's being your educator and make it my wife. Because she is a lot better. 
Princess Thora for 25. Right, and I can declare war on you. I'm not sure we particularly need to. Let's go to war with her while she's weak. Um, every powerful vassal gains opinion. Or I can get a bit of gold. No, we want good opinion. Uh, let's get that, because that's a good amount of prestige. What the hell is this? What are we getting here? Petty Kingdom of Moray. Well, let's just get the county. Just get the county of Inverness a lot easier. She's going to have a couple of grand's worth of troops, but that's alright. We can match that quite easily. My daughter can marry. I definitely want her to marry someone matrilineally. Lord Visby. I guess he would be the best bet outside of Ireland. And it would be matrilineal, so that's okay. And he's got a thousand troops, so that's not a bad uh, alliance for us. Now, presumably we're going to get there first, I would thought. Beat up the Earldom of Mayans. I'm not going to call my wife in. How's her troop count doing? Oh, she has actually built up a little bit. Good for her. Uh, let's go and kill her troops. She can't continue upgrading there. This guy's just plain awful. You do not look well, sir. What disease have you got? You're a familial kinslayer, you're a murderer, and you're also ill. And you're in a... I can't even say that word. Inapetic? Inapetic. It's just showing my uh, stupidity there. Right, let's try and hunt down her troops. Well, you know what? No. Let's go and just siege what we need. I've had a friend that's died. He was the Chancellor. Let's get you in because you're actually half decent. How long have you got to siege there? Oh, you're not even going to continue to siege there, so that's fine. Inverness should be ours in three months. So we're going to take the entirety of Scotland. I want to see how he turns out before anything else. If he doesn't turn out well, we will disinherit him. And then both kingdoms will go to my third son. Hard decisions for poor old High King Sita, but he's having to make them. We're also many counties off being able to form the Empire of Britannia, so bit of a ways to go yet. Uh... Bloody hell, they've got a lot more troops than I had suspected. There's a Liberty and an Independence faction that's been called. Hmm. We've got a new Archbishop as well, so I want to sway him. Get him on side. I need to go beat up our army. Uh, will you be able to get there before they can move across? Yes, you can. That's good. Right, that's good. We gained a lot of additional taxes there. That's helpful. And captured a captain. Right, let's swap you out for you. That will enable you... To go on a hunt, get a little bit more prestige, so that at least you can become exalted. If it all goes well. Uh, 
uh, going to cost us 80 gold, but that's alright. There you go, you're now exalted amongst men. Excellent. So up to 2k in prestige, so we've got lots to play with. And you'd hope that the factions won't be gaining much momentum. There are a couple, to be fair, there are a couple of uh, people we may need to sway. How are we doing on heraldry? Four years left. You're going to be 60 fairly shortly. He's 15. Uh, do we actually have a court physician? Right. Search for a physician. Let's get someone decent so that we can try and prolong our life as long as possible. Yeah, we want her. Um... I don't particularly want that. Why would you... No, I don't want to accept. I just bought her in. Go away, she's my physician. You can't steal her. Right. <clears throat> so Inverness is now ours. We'll grant that to... Oh, go on, we'll give it to that son, because he's got nothing else. <clears throat> At least he can have one county. And we can give him a, a little cheeky alliance. Duchess of Ulster, she does need to be on the council. So we do need to... Ah, oh, what? I just lost my physician. Alright. When's your birthday? 7th of Feb. Alright, so it's going to come up in about 6 months. 7, seven months. And how are you in comparison to you? I mean, they're both turning out fairly decent. You've got more prowess. What traits have you picked up? Vengeful, that's not good. Bossy's good. Generous is okay for diplomacy. Diligence, good. <clears throat> so you've got some half-decent traits. I'm just slightly concerned that our health is now ailing. Primarily because of our age. But his birthday is going to be in about five months. Then he'll come of age and we should be okay. I'm hoping. And then I'll just make my decision. If he doesn't turn out well, we'll give it to the other one because he's got genius. Is it genius or is it as intelligent? Yeah, and your lifestyle experience gets a bo boost as well. Hmm. Ooh, who are we imprisoning? An earl. Or an earl's wife. Right, we're at October. I'm just going to speed it up a little bit. November. Just keep your health up, please. December. You've got two months left to live. And then we will decide on the inheritance. How's the wife? She's also ailing. January. And let's just slow it down to three. When's your birthday? You're now 16. You are a grey eminence. You're pretty damn good then. I think we will stick with you. So... Young man, oh, you're going to turn out good though as well, aren't you? Hmm, what do we do? 
What do we do? I think it's a mistake not to give it to him just because of his congenital trait. Let me give some land to my other son. Uh, what are you all part of? You're all part of the same thing, are you? Okay, what about you? I can seize this lot for a good amount of prestige, but we're going to do it. You've got one more war to fight for me. Then you can retire. Yeah, he's unmarried. I'm more concerned about him marrying someone good with good traits. Doesn't look like there are any, so maybe... Someone with good alliance potential. Duchy of Mercia would be quite nice. Anglia would be quite nice, because Mercia won't fight if we go to war with England. We need to wait and see what we get, though. Right, who have you got on your wall? No one. So you've got 2k troops. We can eliminate them fairly quickly. Go destroy them. And let's hope... A cheap, cheap, easy pickup. How is your health? You're still poor. <clears throat> mm. A little bit concerned. Okay. But we need to make the decision because we're going to die. Ah. Do we hedge our bets? Trouble is, if we die, then there are four years. I think we disinherit you. Oh, I don't know. This is too tough. This is a very difficult decision. Because Grey Eminence is going to be pretty good. His diplomacy is going to be amazing by the time he actually takes control. I mean, his other traits are just okay. That average. I suppose, to be fair, you're better all round already. Alright. We're going with the young one. It's a risk. But. We're going to do it. I'll give you some land. So this boy is going to inherit everything. As long as we don't die. Then I'd be happy. Oh nice, they might actually get traits. That's pretty cool. Okay, go and siege this. That's going to take you two months. I think we do go and get another physician. Just to try and keep him alive, if nothing else. Bloody hell, what the hell she got? Great pox, that's not good. <clears throat> Dub deal, she's pretty good. Uh, yeah, she's the one we want. Hopefully she'll keep me alive. You own Inverness. You're pretty weak. How is my priest, actually? Yeah, he's fairly good. That's good. How long is that going to take you? Only five months. Oh, that's good. That's very, very helpful. Thank you. Okay, we didn't get, actually get any of his lands. That's fine. Uh, but we made our decision. And... 
I think what I will do... You know what? I'm not even going to give anything to my brother. Why, why should we? At this rate, there's no point. The best thing that he can do is marry someone of high rank for us. She's not actually going to inherit anything. Hmm. So he's not even going to be that much use. That's okay, though. But we have got most of Scotland now. Which, if nothing else, is exactly what we wanted. We can even declare war on you. Pick up your county. Norway is still fairly strong. Um, we're not quite at our peak for troop count, but I think we're probably not going to be able to get it to that 8k before we die. How is your health? Still poor. But for now, we are going to end the episode there, ladies and gentlemen. Ireland has grown. We have the Kingdom of Scotland. We have Wales as well. So we can actually make the Kingdom of Wales, I believe. Yeah, we can do. But it's the uh, Empire of Britannia that we are really seeking. For now, though, we will end the episode there. Thank you all very much for watching. Please do leave a like, comment, subscribe, all those good things. And I will see you in the next episode. Hello!